Let's take a look at our officials tonight. James Capers, Mark Lindsay, and Jonathan Sterling. And here we go from Los Angeles. Just 30 games, the right calf strain and tendon. Itis and inside Zubat's got the well-timed feed and that ties the game at two. Bucks will claim it and the Clippers the other way with uh, Kawhi back to a shot from outside. Jackson the other way. Clippers by six. Lop into Leonard and the other way now will come Caldwell Pope and it's Kuzma on the fly with a three for the Lakers. Different guys until that Missed opportunity right there. You see the turnover story early. Here's a drive. Caldwell Pope <laughs> will hammer it home. Wow. Jackson on the move. Leonard thinking three and repositions. Outside, letting it ring from three is Jackson with his second triple Reggie of the game. Bring it in. And the other way quickly is Jackson. A lot of guards on this Clipper team. Here comes Kawhi and spoon feed Zubox. Here in L.A., Monday by four. Slithering on that baseline, George. Whips it out. It's Morris. Three. Count it. Get it to go. Zubox is there. And here comes the galloping George. Who gets it off to Kawhi. It's a three. And it's right down the hatch by Kawhi Leonard. Rebound by Drummond. Here comes Caldwell Pope. Numbers the other way. And there's the trailing Caruso for three. Alex Caruso out for the Lakers. Here's Jackson inside George. Athletic catch by Zubac, who took it right into Drummond. In the corner, Patrick Beverly across the lane, trying to thrash his way free. Rondo outside, triple. Rajon Rondo. And Caldwell Popo inbound from across the way. Clippers have led by 13. Kuzma, free to fire. I think he's starting to get his legs, more importantly. Caldwell Pope drills one from outside. These Los Angeles Lakers coming in 37 and 28. Number six in the West and a half game in back of number five, Dallas. Kuzma will bury it from outside. Throws outside, Kuzma's three, rebound Harrell, sixth man award winner a year ago with the Clippers. That shot is down, Mark Keith Morris, ring it up for the playoffs, but he is part of the uh, things they think that the Clippers were missing a year ago with his mind, his focus, Cousins inside, bashing his way. Threes him that, that triplet at that position, and we hadn't seen Gasol yet, but we planned to. We were told, Vogel told us he was going to play Gasol. Old Morris and McLemore off the bench. With it right now is Cousins. Quickly doubled by McLemore and Harrell. Nice. And somehow twirls and gets two. His second three with the rebound by Cousins. Kennard three. Nice shot outside. Luke Kennard is coming back right now. Reggie, after twisting an ankle in the first uh, quarter, is in the locker room. They're taking a look at it. Here's Gasol. Beautiful pass. He's always talking. What a quarterback on the floor. Leonard in. Kennard out. Caruso driving. Finagling his way in. Count it for two and a foul. They got Rondo. Cousins on top. Wide open. Three. Book it. Outside, Cousins cans one. All about Rondo and him directing this second unit. McLemore trying to free himself from Leonard. A steal. Look at the big man gallop with the steal and the flush. Against the number one defensive team in the NBA, the number one defensive rated Laker team, Caruso fell, and George will nail one from outside. On the board for the Lakers. And this is the difference between all three centers for the Lakers. Marc Gasol is probably and arguably one of the best passing big men this game has ever seen. Beautiful team as we've talked about and their defensive rating respectable certainly at number 11 and getting better as they get hold. Nice fake deceptive move and Wesley Matthews finds the deuce. Say I'm living to learn uh, how to uh, go through the pain during the games and when I warm up, it's a tough shot down the hatch. Marcus Morris, incorporating injured players like Leonard and Beverly, working on good habits. We want to establish. Now Caruso's watching Leonard, and uncorking a three is Paul George. 
He's got the stroke, and George has got 12. What kind of team are they putting together? They're learning right now and getting everybody healthy at the right time. Looks to be peaking at the right time. Kuzma maneuvers, ignites for the shot. Very unselfish ball club in the Clippers. So sometimes they get caught overpassing the basketball. as Kuzma who had a hot first quarter. The Lakers at 37 and 28. They've lost three of their last four, six of their last eight. Shot from outside will go right down. Puts them now at number five. They have meticulously worked their way up and put themselves in a position it looks like perhaps out of harm's way. But we still have a week to go. That game tomorrow for tie-breaking purposes, huge as we've talked about before with the Blazers. Caruso, and he gets it outside to the open. Kuzma is the latest on Anthony Davis. Again, we have no reporter there, and we are not there. And so we are a little bit limited, and George, with a burst, finds two the hard way. And with the ball is Kawhi Leonard. Lingering in the circle and finally puts one inside, and Zubac is there to touch it up and push it through. All the injuries for the defending champion Lakers. Back spasms after twisting an ankle, and the ankle is not the concern. We are told Reggie Jackson just laces one in. Everyone in double figures in the starting lineup, but Kawhi Leonard. Only two of six, seven points for Kawhi. And the Zubac with the great feed, and Leonard gets his sixth assist. I'm just having fun with you. I'm just trying to keep my concentration here, Reg. A game that's been out of hand here for a while. And it's George bumping his way, trying to evade the defense, and got the nice roll. Paul George with 18. Trying to incorporate him. Beverly and Rondo are in. Knocked away by Drummond. Vacuumed in by... Leonard because of his body of work, you know, we put him in that category I think for the Clippers as a whole I think they're in that same boat with all these veteran players Rondo knocks down an 18-footer This has been a special season great season by the Jazz and the Suns, but they're not have the level of pressure That the Lakers and Clippers have to win championships The tomb is in and he's defending Kuzma who's got 25 points. He's 9 of 17 Kenny will Plop one through right there. So this could be one of the more smart acquisitions of any team. And the deal they make to get Rondo, who takes it in, carves his way, and squirts for two. Now listen to what he has to say, because look, Kawhi's a champion, but oh, nice alley to Woo. Montrez Harold and finish. It was. <laughs> and you've got the best player of his generation on your team as well. And he's missed significant time along with AD. Nice move there by Paul George. But give me LeBron healthy. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Nice pass. Lakers. Lakers are going to get their seventh point of the quarter. You know, he understands what he brings to this Lakers team. And I think if you're Frank Vogel, it's going to be night by night, series by series matchup. It's 24 points. The game has not been competitive scoring wise. A lot of talk about where these teams are. About a week left in the season. Inside, George will stammer his way and find it. It open with a great evasive fake. It was Wesley Matthews. He could not convert. Hold on here. It's Batum. Beautiful feed. Two on one. McKinney finished up his college career at UW Green Bay. Will reset. Drummond said he was working out with the trainer every day and was in great shape so that when he got to the Lakers, he stride there by Kawhi Leonard. Give him 15. BA TV presented by Taco Bell. Man, what I wouldn't give right now for a chalupa. Another spin move inside by Harrell and he puts it up and in. Markeith Morris and Montrez Harrell out there for the Los Angeles Lakers. This is Yogi Ferrell, who just was signed. Nice play inside and tomahawked in by Mann. They made 13 threes by eight different guys. And dancing will be Beverly. And that is all she wrote in the Clippers.